24 hour uh, Jaco Melbourne on Mercedes chassis, 3 liter uh, turbo diesel engine. Um, as you can see, it does have uh, the slide out on the driver's side with a cover over the slide out to keep it free from debris. We do have a 3600 watt um, propane generator. We also have side cameras and rear cameras on this unit as well. We do have the uh, nice frameless windows that give it a sleek, nice look. Um, storage on this one here, there's your water system. We have a storage compartment right there and then the generator up front. So the Melbournes don't have a ton of storage. Your electrical hookup 30 amp, sewage hose storage in the bumper. Uh, we do have towing capabilities, 5,000 pounds and nice rear window for the bathroom as well. Um, power awning, the full length of the motorhome pretty well uh, with LED lighting on the outside. Couple little storage compartments right there, your water heater and your propane up front. Um, so it's a pretty clean looking unit. Uh, the diesel gives you a fantastic miles, about 15, 16 miles to the gallon. As we go inside, the two front seats can turn around. They come with a booster seat that allows you to sit up a little bit higher and uh, watch uh, the back of the unit where you can install a television in front of the bed if you like. This particular unit does have two seat belts in the front and four seat belts on the dinette. Table drops down for two children or when adults. The front bunk holds 750 pounds, which is uh, incredible for a small motorhome. Uh, most motorhomes, when you start looking at them, only will hold about 300 pounds. So Jayco uh, really increases the bunk capacity for this unit at 750 pounds. Clean looking front end. Um, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, as I said, it does have a rear camera, push button start. It also has the side cameras as well. Uh, Mercedes gets you the uh, three liter turbo diesel for great mileage. Power windows, cruise control, all the regular gadgets are included. Um, as we pan to the back, I have my friend Brian helping me out, uh, just trying to show you the bed. So in order to work the Murphy bed on this here, we would take the two pillows and put them in front of the sofa. And that sofa right there, where right where you put those pillows, there has two drawers in there for storage and there's storage under both dinette bases as well. So as we pull the bed down, it gives you a short queen, <coughs> 74 inches by 60 inches wide. And there you go. So it gives you not a permanent bed, but this is the best option really, if you start looking, because it does give you the sofa as well. Um, and you no, know, during the day, you can leave your bedding on there, push the button and it's out of the way. Yep. Okay, and if you don't like your husband, you put him on there and put him away. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we have an eight foot cubic fridge. I'll just watch that go back up again. So it's really very little to do. It's very easy to do. And it gives you the window behind the, the bed as well, which is really nice. And as I feel like a, an airplane stewardess here, um, the emergency exit was behind there as well. Behind there as well. Thank you, Brian. Have a great day. All right. So we have a fantastic kitchen counter in here, like lots of prep space. You get a uh, bank of drawers times two storage underneath as well, a flip up countertop. Uh, this particular unit has solar and it does have the stabilizing jacks as well. Not the leveling jacks, just the stabilizing jacks. Microwave convection oven with a fan that vents to the outside, two burner stove, and then an eight cubic foot fridge. So eight cubic foot fridge gives you a ton of space, gas electric. We can do both. So you can see it has a nice size fridge. Beside the fridge, we have a pantry that allows you to store your food nice and deep okay and then as we get into the bathroom we do have a medicine cabinet right there that opens up for your goodies a toilet and then your shower which is with a rear window as well and a fan for exhaust as well uh, in the bathroom here we do have good storage so you see your telescoping ladder that is for the front bunk that hooks up to get up and we do have a curtain that blocks out the front as well as a table that fits between the two front seats. So honestly, this is a very compact unit, but it does have a lot of space when the slide out is open. Lots of counter space in the kitchen. Uh, beds out of the way, as I said, when you're uh, not camping or when you don't need it, you can leave your bedding on there. Uh, accent lighting everywhere. So everywhere you look, there is space 
only one color available in the interior so that's this color that you see and if you have any questions please let me know uh wasco rv 570 rundle road and that's in bowmanville uh 905-697-0678 ask for sales ask for willem or brian and we'd be happy to look after you